All right, we have the push press. So this is like our overhead press, except now we're gonna be using a little bit of our legs, in a little leg drive, getting some momentum. This is gonna help with some transfer of force from the lower half through the upper body. So what we're gonna do so we want to set this rack up so it's just about our shoulder level, like right at that clavicle, so we can get up and underneath and in a good position. So, what we want to do, find equal distance apart from that bar so that your forearms, when you get ready to push, are nice and vertical. We want to have a nice strong wrist as we're pressing that bar up. We don't want any broken wrist because that's where a lot of the force is going to leak out from. So, we're coming up and under, grabbing, that bar, getting into this position. So, from here, I want to brace my core. I want to make sure I have a nice strong base so I'm still grabbing the floor with my feet, screwing them in so I can feel tension in my glutes and in my lower body. Now, normally we would just press up from this position. But with the push press, we're gonna drop those hips back in a little half squat, a little mini squat so we can drive up. So it's just, think, a little dip, and then we're gonna drive using this to create that momentum, and then we're gonna finish through up overhead. So, full rep will look like this. Come down, up overhead. And you can see I'm being very forceful and explosive with this movement. One thing to make sure that we're doing as we do this, we still keep those abs nice and tight so we're not overextending. And that is the push press.